Hi, this is Rick. Welcome back to my channel. Rick Loves Maria. Uh, if you wouldn't mind, go ahead and subscribe. And uh, I want to give you an update today. Uh, we got a little bit of uh, possible good news uh, out of the Philippines today. Um, June 1st in Manila, I think they're going to a, what's called a general, a GCQ, a general quarantine. Um, so anyway, it is possible, um, it will be possible soon to travel. Um, <clears throat> it's possible to get a pass from the province into Manila and back. And, uh, so the good news is she, um, Maria will be able to, to travel, it looks like, soon. Um, the, she, she got an email from the, um, St. Luke's, the medical center, saying, please be patient, please wait for, uh, us to send you an appointment. So because she registered with St. Luke's, they are, uh, going to probably take it on a first come, first serve basis. So if you registered first, you'll probably get an earlier appointment. So she will probably be able to get an appointment <clears throat> to go, she has to take Zoe, go to Manila, and try to get this medical process done. Now, there are a couple of, uh, I guess, difficult aspects of this. One is, there's no provincial buses running, so transportation is difficult. One option may be that she has to drive her own car, the little Honda that we have over there, which the air conditioner is broke, broken on. Now, here you could probably ride around with the windows down. In the Philippines, it's probably 100 degrees, and I don't think it would help to have the windows down. It's just so hot. It's just going to be like an oven riding around inside the hot car. So I'm kind of worried about the air con in the car. I think a new air compressor is about $350 to fix the car. <clears throat> to fix the air con. So that's one issue is transportation. Um, as far as I know, there's no taxis running or any other way. The other problem is there's no hotels that are currently open in Manila. If you look on all their websites of all the, all the hotels over there, it says uh, currently temporarily closed. They're all waiting for government approval to open back up and uh, then be able to start um, <clears throat> doing business again. So even if she did get an appointment... Right now, we're not sure that she'd have a place to stay. And you have to spend at least one night there. She may have to spend two nights there because they have to wait for the results um, package to come back. It depends on what you know what time your appointment is. You may want to go down the uh, one evening, spend the night, get up in the morning and go to your appointment if it's early. And then you have to wait another day for them to have your results packaged together so you can uh, get the envelope. The envelope is sealed. Uh, I understand that they will let you know the results, but you have to leave it sealed in order to take it to your interview at the U.S. Embassy. <clears throat> now, so getting to Manila and back, that's an, one interesting idea in itself. So, we're we're wait, still waiting patiently, but we're optimistic now. There is a glimmer of hope that we can try to get some travel done, possibly in June. Um, once that's done, that's expensive in itself. <laughs> I don't have to. I don't want to tell you how expensive that is to get that done. Um, it's somewhere between. Oh well. For, for for her and the and, and Zoe, 
it's, it's expensive. <laughs> so anyway, then after that, you go back home and you sit and you wait and see if the U.S. Embassy opens. If the U.S. Embassy opens, then you can schedule, try to schedule an interview at the U.S. Embassy. <clears throat> Uh, then you have to go back to Manila, possibly spend another night in a hotel. You can't take any electronic devices into the embassy. No cell phones allowed. You have to leave that in the hotel. So anyway, you lock that in the room at the hotel, and you walk uh, across a very busy road to the U.S. Embassy. Fifteen minutes before your appointment. <coughs> so anyway... Very interesting. Um, we're not at that point yet. We're still at the medical. So anyway, just wanted to share an update with you. Kind of hoping, you know, that it'll happen too soon. We get a, a some good news. We're overdue for some good news, some positive results. It's been too long without any uh, without anything positive to report. My patients ran out in February. So anyway, um, that's what's going on. Uh, I'm getting ready to ship a buy-in box over there. As far as I know, she may be coming here while the box is on the boat going over there. But, you know, you, you just never know what's going to happen. So, um... You just have to just guess <laughs> as to what's going to happen. Maybe in a couple of weeks. So anyway, um, what else is going on here? You know, just work. Um, trying to trying to stay in shape. Trying to exercise. Walking around the complex here. Trying to keep the cars clean. Keep keep up with the the cars and. Um, really haven't been driving them a whole lot lately. Um, just, uh, got groceries today. Chilling out here at the apartment, just trying to be patient and wait. So, that's about it. Um, I get online and I surf the web a little bit and see what's going on over there, watch some YouTube, look at some sailboats, sometimes there's some, a couple of nice sailboats over there for sale, there's actually a couple of them for sale in Subic Bay, uh, some that really aren't terribly expensive, but I don't know, maybe someday I'd like to have a boat, I don't know, we'll have to wait and see what happens when we retire, got about eight more years before I can retire. Uh, watch some other YouTube channels, you know, like I mentioned before, and just kind of enjoy keeping up with, with Terrence and Beth and what everybody's doing over there. Here, the, the pandemic is actually getting worse. Yesterday, it was 331 new cases. They claim it's due to, to more testing going on. Um, I don't know, that seems like a lot of... A lot of new cases of the virus to me, 331 in a day. You're safer in the Philippines than you are here. Uh, they did testing over there, and uh, her province is, for the most part, pretty much clean. Um, it's in Manila, seems to be where the worst of it is. They've got 11,000 cases over there nationwide. Here, just in South Carolina, we've got 10,000. I think, I think it's 10,000. So anyway, um, you're, you're better off being in the Philippines, actually, at this point. All right, I can't think of a whole lot else to say. Please like, subscribe, and I'll talk to you soon. Thanks.